Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Tengoku. I'm your host, Lindsay. I'm David. And on this show, we look at anime figures and other collectibles from Japan. And today, we have another Fate figure, but not Fate Grand Order this time. It's Fate Apocrypha. And this is Rider Fig of Black. Cool. What were you going to say? Figma? Figma, Figma. Figma, yes. So we've had quite a few Figma on this show. I love them. Dave's not too fond of the hands. Let's see how this one does today. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've disassembled the box for you guys. Here it is. Nothing much to say about the box itself. It just has some nice shots of how, what poses you can do and a really cute big picture on the sides. You're a fan of that tooth, I know, but I can't stand it when they do that. So as David was mentioning, there is a tiny little tooth there, the canine, um, which... Not a fan. <laughs> David doesn't like. I think it's cute. You decide yourself, I guess. But anyways, so here's Rider of Black right out of the box, or Astolfo, whichever name you want to use. And just very cute. I love the, the pinks with the blacks and golds, the white. Um, Not too many visible joint marks either. Quite cool. Yeah, so a, a lot of the joints are hidden. I especially like how they did the knees. Oh, yeah. And you can bend quite far back. Not not enough to actually sit on the legs, but that's fine. Um, the paint is really interesting because you've kind of got three different textures going on here. You've got the normal matte, and then you've got this kind of bronzy look, but then you also have the shimmery white of the boots and gloves. It's very glossy, kind of pearly, and it's on the sword as well. So that's kind of cool. So I guess you could kind of finagle it but it might look a little awkward so as far as posability goes i'd say that's the one flaw here uh you'll get you'll have to get creative if you want to do any chair poses oh lastly the boot das boot <laughs> das boot does have posable toes for an extra bit of posing fun Son of a biscuit. All right, so let's look at accessories. So we kind of flashed this earlier, but we have two optional expressions. We've got a nice angry face and we've got a winking face also with the nice little tooth that David hates showing. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, of course, one of the nicest parts of this figure, this elegant cape. So. <laughs> You can either do this one of two ways. You can work the cape over the shoulders, or you can take the head off and put it on a little more smoothly. I did both, just to make sure I had it on right. So the nice thing about the cape is that it allows for plenty of arm motion still, because, you know, it's just flying around, so you don't have to worry about it getting in the way of the sword. So Ryder comes with two swords. Got them both here, the Noble Phantasms. Both of these look really nice and mimic the paint of the figure with the white pearly look and the just slightly sheen of the gold. They both can come out, um, so you can slip them over the hand. This one comes in three pieces, so you'll take this off when putting it in the hands. And for the small sword, it does the same thing at the tip. David's putting it in the wrong hand because Ryder is uh, right-handed, sure. but just for show, here you go. <laughs> so the, the figure actually came with oh. the sword holding hand. So even though this isn't technically accurate because Ryder is right-handed, just for you guys to see it, looks pretty cool. There are sword holding hands for both the right and left side. So you can decide whether Astolfo is right-handed or left-handed. There's also peace signs for both hands. And then this one has a peg in it. And for that is book. for the book. The hands all feature a glossy sheen to them, the pearl look that the other items have. It's my type of book, nothing in it. <laughs> yeah, the pages are empty, but the hand fits on You can draw nicely. it yourself. You can draw it in yourself. Or I bet not. you someone would. I bet you someone would. 
if they don't mind that you know this is like a seven thousand yen figure that they're messing up a bit <laughs> anyways that looks pretty cool let's put on the other now this one's really heavy so let's see if the arm is stiff enough to hold it up and it is that's good that is pretty cool looking but yeah that is about it for accessories we of course have our standard figma stand here and then this great little bag where you can put all of your spare parts in. The cape also, I should mention lastly, has a hole on the bottom here for the peg. So you don't have to worry about doing a back peg there. You can just put this in this hole. And you're good to go. David, shh. There we go. Nice. We've got our action pose on. Our action face. I'm doing a superhero pose. And there you go. Let's take a look at a few more poses. Okay. So that was Figma Rider in Black or Astolfo, whichever name you want to use. And pretty cool. I yes. love the cape. I like the gold. That's all I like. Yeah. Well, the coloring <laughs> is really nice in general. I love pink and black together. Yeah. But anyways, um, we are going to, of course, be giving this away. But before we get to those details, I've got the winner of... My Little Pony. Right. The Bishojo Twilight Sparkle. All right. So here you go, David. Okay. <laughs> The, um, this was a winner on Hobbylink.tv, and it is Hammy Potato. And he's got a really cute little <laughs> thing. Anyway, um, so he says, I love this design so much more than the movie version. I wish they used something like this instead. Yeah, I mean, I do too, but, but we're not going to get that full anime look on no. American TV. I actually thought though. it was a TV show, not a movie. Do they, they must have made loads oh, of Oh, no, movies. it's both. Oh, okay, So, cool. So there's the, the TV show, My Little Pony, yeah. where they're ponies, right? And then there's Equestrian Girls. I think that's the name of it. I haven't seen it in years. Oh. But they have human forms. And that's the movie. That they yeah, have. and they, they just they have the same cartoony eyes ah, and things. So not as cool as the one we have. Right, not quite as cool as the Shunya Yamashita version. Anyways, so today we're giving away this one. And if you would like to win, all you have to do is leave a comment on YouTube or Hobbylink TV. You can enter up to two times on either channel. Yep. And make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and you're registered on Hobbylink.tv. And if you win, please contact me at support at That's all right. a quick way to do it. Cool. I think that about wraps it up today. Yep. Remember to like and subscribe to this video and follow us on Hobbylink TV as well for all of the latest figure info. Cool. All right. Yeah, we'll see you next time.